What is up guys? Today I'm going to be talking about um, how to make a 3D map in Photoshop. Um, this is super easy. All you need to do is go buy this 3D map generator. A link will be down in the description. Uh, it's $21. Um, I think it's totally worth it because it does you know, some crazy effects and it makes it super super easy to make all this stuff. Um, this company does have a tutorial on how to like do it but there's no talking so um, for someone who doesn't know Photoshop very well, or isn't super great at the computer, um, it might be confusing. So I decided I would make my own just because it's so cool and I would have no idea how to do this without this software. So once you've bought it, uh, it's going to pop up in your downloads. So these are the things I've bought before. Um, so you just click on download and it's going to give you these things. So click on main files and it's going to basically download like the, whoop, the entire extension for you um, and it's going to be in this little folder and then there's some instructions on how to install it and those instructions are pretty easy I'm not going to go over those because I've already done it and it's going to be a lot more effort so that's pretty easy to do just install it like any other extension and um, to know that it's working it should be in window extensions and then it'll be right there so just click on that, it'll load up, and it should look something like this. So once you've got this, you've got this open in Photoshop. You don't need to have a project open. I just have it open because my recents have like some portraits I've been working on. I don't want to show people's faces without their permission. So that's why. Um, but just click on Find Real Location, and it's going to open um, Height Map. Um, you will all have to sign in. Um, I don't know how to sign out, so I can't show you what that looks like. But to sign in, you just click on download and then click on the license certificate and purchase code. And then it'll download like a file like this. I just deleted my name here because it's my real name. And it's going to give you a license purchase code like this and just pop that in there. And it will it will not work for you. It will work. So yeah, then you'll get to you'll get, you'll get something like this. So I'm going to click on height mapper. And it's going to bring me to uh, image of the world. Um, the brighter white is more height, obviously. Um, so yeah, so once you've got here, um, get out of that. We're going to go to Google Maps. Um, all you need is Google Maps, Height Mapper, and Photoshop for this. So pretty pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, so you're going to go find a place in the world uh, that you want to make a map of. So I'm going to do, I want to try to get Mount Everest, uh, which is somewhere over here. Oh, I cannot, okay, that's, that's going to be confusing. We're just going to, oh. Mount Everest. Okay, so there it is. Look at that. Um, I want to make a map of this. It might look confusing just because there's so many mountains, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see what it looks like. And it just froze. Okay, there we go. Um, so an important thing to note is you want everything inside um, of all these controls because, like, obviously this is gonna be like the texture for the mountains. So you don't want anything like weird in there like this stuff. So you need to remember to fit it inside here because we're going to crop out everything else later. So I'm going to put Mount Everest, you know, we'll try to do it, we'll do something like this maybe. So we can get like this glacier in there maybe, something like that. So once once I figured out what I want, um, whoa, I guess we'll do that, that's fine. Um, I'm going to click over here and I'm going to turn off the labels. Right, so now there's no labels and it's going to be weird because um, some of these like remote regions have um, places where you can see that the satellite images were taken at different times and that that is gonna look weird so maybe we should not well you know it doesn't matter but you should definitely try to find a place that doesn't have like a weird square like this this one does um, so once you've got this we're gonna go oh okay I'll just go something else you need to leave the map on too there we go that's what you want okay I'm so sorry I've only done this like twice so that's gonna be my excuse there we go, okay. Now it works, all right. Um, so sorry about fucking that up. I'll probably leave it in the video just because editing is a lot of effort. Um, so sorry, just leave it on maps, labels on, everything on, just how you found it, just a regular Google map. I copy that URL, put it into Height Mapper. That's how you do it, okay. Um, then click on satellite and then turn labels off. Okay, so now we're gonna need, don't move anything. You, if you move something in between here and here, you fucked up already, okay. So what we need to do now is take a screenshot of this page. If you don't know how to screenshot on your computer, um, you should figure that out. 
Okay, on a Windows computer, it is the Windows key and the print screen button. So it's gonna, it'll do something like that. That's what it'll look like. Um, uh, that's annoying. I don't know if that was there. All right, I'm just gonna do another one just in case that was there. All right, so it's just that. So now I've taken two screenshots, and they're gonna show up in your um, pictures folder in screenshots. So you can see I've done this before. So there's our nice screenshot. So now I'm going to take this screenshot here, I'm going to drag it into Photoshop. All right, I'm just going to click enter, we'll deal with it in a second. Okay. Next we're going to need this thing here, don't move anything, you're going to just click save as PNG. Okay, and you're going to drag that into the Photoshop file as well. I've actually already screwed up again. Um, you're going to want to open them. Actually, you're going to want to open the downloaded file. And Fuck, which one is going to be? Mm, it's this one. Okay, well, it's the same size, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Oh, well. You just want, you want to have them, like, open in here, not in an actual file. So, now that I have those dragged in here, um, you can see that's kind of a weird size. So, I need to resize it so that the top and bottom bars are not included. So easy to do, you just kind of drag it out to the sides and it should like fit reasonably well. Like it should be not, you shouldn't have to do a whole lot of like moving and stuff to make it fit. Just put it in there and it doesn't have to be like super exact. It just needs to be like reasonable, like reasonably close. Like it's not, it's not a huge deal because we're going to crop it anyways. You just kind of want everything to line up well so it doesn't look weird later. So that's. I'm happy with how that is lined up. So I'm gonna rename this texture. Um, that's just how it knows what's going on. Um, and then we're gonna crop this. So I'm gonna take this selection tool here, what's it called? Rectangular marquee tool. So just grab that and we're just gonna select an area inside of all these little things here. So once I've got an area I'm happy with, I'm going to click Image, Crop, and it's just going to crop it all down. So now that we have this, it is time to make our 3D map. Um, we're going to click on uh, Create New Terrain, and it's just going to just going to do its thing. Um, on my computer, this took like a couple minutes. Um, on other computers that are not as powerful, it will probably take five plus minutes. Um, so just be patient with it and be back shortly. All right, so I'm back. It uh, took like two minutes, um, not a big deal. So you're gonna have this type of thing here. And um, I mean, you're pretty much done. Like all the monkeying around you can do, you can just do in here. Like if you want more height on there, it's easy, just you click on it and it'll do it. And I'm not gonna show you everything just cause it'll take like forever. Cause it, it does this every time. It's gotta like read, do stuff every single time you do anything. So um, you can monkey around with that on your own. But yeah, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. So we're fucking up in the middle, um, if that makes the final cut. If not, um, I did it perfectly. I never screwed up at all. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so hopefully this has helped you do something. I don't know what y'all are gonna be using this for, but hopefully it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you know, leave them down below. If this helped you out, uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.